Alright, Lynn here with another video. Um, today I will be uh, upgrading another laptop, but this is a little bit older of a laptop and uh, kind of a lot bigger. It's a uh, different class laptop, but it's a uh, HP Envy uh, 17. Um, this laptop's about two years old. It's slowed up a little bit, but uh, just uh, who my sister that I'm replacing it for. Uh, well, replacing the hard drive with a SSD and the uh, RAM from 8 gigs to 16 gigs just needs some extra speed and um, uses a lot of Chrome tabs. So, uh, kind of be upgrading that and getting everything going good. So, uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and get on with that and show y'all what I'm replacing uh, the uh, hard drive with and the RAM with, and then I'll start. Uh, upgrade the laptop. Alright, as for the SSD, I have another. I was really impressed with this SSD. I don't know about longevity yet, but uh, I was impressed with how this SSD performs and um, also the ease of use of this drive in terms of software that comes with it. So, um, the Acronis HD software that it comes with is uh, very nice to use. So I would highly recommend this drive, especially just for the software it comes with. And um, the RAM that I'll be replacing it with is uh, 16 gigs of uh, Corsair Vengeance uh, DDR3L RAM, only 1600 megahertz. Um, but uh, this is all that the uh, laptop is supposed to uh, be rated for. So, uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and get the uh, upgrade going. Alright, now to go ahead and start with the uh, upgrade of this laptop. Basically, all you do is pop the battery compartment off. And then, as you can see right there, there is one little bitty screw got to make sure you do have a small Phillips head screwdriver though and this screw does not come out so don't keep trying to screw it out meant to stay and basically all you do is just pop these off and this is uh, everything you can get to everything from here and uh, we'll go ahead and do the RAM first it has 8 gigs of RAM pre-installed all you do is flip these little tabs right here and they flip right up all you have to do is there's a notch in here and all you do is line the notch up so since the notch is this way just line it up and press down easily as you press inward to make sure that uh, it's pressed all the way up against the back because if you just try to do this, it's going to pop out. So you just press in and then press down at the same time. And then that's all you have to do for RAM. Now for the hard drive, uh, about as easy, just a little bit different. This little rubber pad holds everything. And this keeps vibration down also on the laptop. But uh, just disconnect SATA power and SATA data and then just undo these little notches that go in these holes. And this is a one terabyte uh, hard drive. So just go ahead and press in. And go ahead and reconnect the uh, SATA power and say to data go ahead and press down and easily push it in there not forcing it in there but making sure that there's enough pressure to go in now if you're wanting to know how to do hard drive cloning I have a dedicated video coming on how to clone a hard drive uh, it will focus mainly on the the Acronis HD software that came with my uh, ADATA SSD. And then pop the battery on. And there you go, there's the upgrade. But but anyway, um, 
if you had uh, if you do want to watch a video on how to do the uh, cloning of a hard drive and then moving everything over to a SSD I do have a video coming out on that so uh, stay tuned for that video um, it does focus on the Acronis HD software as I said and maybe in the future try using a free software that is easily accessible by everyone but it's general guidelines that basically you can go through with every software but uh, anyway that's it for this video pretty short pretty easy this laptop was a lot easier to upgrade than my Dell laptop thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like the video if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it if you had any comments or questions um, I know this is an older laptop, so I don't know how many people will actually watch this. But uh, anyway, having comments or questions, go ahead and leave those in the description below or in the comments below, um, and I'll try to answer those. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.